Hi there, it's Rachel Gregg and today I have a quick and easy card tutorial for you using the Darkroom Door Zebra Background Stamp. Darkroom Door Background Stamps are large enough to cover a full A6 card front, that's a 6x4 inch, uh, but I'll be using a smaller piece of card to stamp onto today. I keep my background stamps in storage cases, the same ones that Darkroom Door stamp sets are sold in. You can buy the storage cases empty and I like to put my backgrounds in them to keep them organised and as you can see I don't clean them all the time so it also stops the ink from getting onto other stamps. So for this card I'm using a pigment black ink pad by Ranger. It's a nice juicy ink pad and I wanted to use something that will give good ink coverage over the thick zebra stripes. I find that pigment inks can be easier to ink with when I have a large solid area to stamp and I'm pretty generous when it comes to inking up background stamps because I'll go over it a few times to make sure I've inked up the whole stamp and I'll also press in the middle of the ink pad just to make sure the whole pad is connecting with the stamp. Now I'm stamping onto smooth white cardstock and I'll always make sure I spend time here pressing around the edges and the middle of the stamping block just to make sure all of the stamp has been pressed onto the cardstock. I don't rock the stamp, I just make sure I've put even pressure all over. And here's my stamped image. So for now I just need to clean up my mat, so I'm just using some stamp cleaner just to wipe over and get all the ink off the mat. And because I've used a pigment ink, I just want to make sure it's dry, so I'm just going to dry it with a heat tool to make sure it's dry before I go on to the next step. For now I want to move on to stamping a sentiment and I'm using one from the Wild Africa Volume 1 stamp set which also has a great zebra stamp in it too which you could use with the zebra background to make some really fun cards. But I've chosen a sentiment and I'm stamping onto some white card using archival jet black ink. And I want to die cut the sentiment so I'm using a label die from the Tim Holtz Labels Thinlet set by Sizzix and I'm going to run it through my Big Shot machine. I've used the magnetic platform underneath which keeps the die in place over the sentiment while it goes through the machine. It just makes it a lot easier. So now back onto the card, I'm adding some double sided tape to the back and then wrapping some sheer grey ribbon around the front. I'm just eyeballing where I want it to sit with the sentiment and then sticking down the ribbon on the back before mounting the background onto a folded black card. Next I'm adding some foam dots to the back of the sentiment and adding it to the front of the card to finish. A supplies list is below in the YouTube description or check out the Darkroom Door store locator page for a stockist near you. To see more stamping tutorials please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out the blog on the Darkroom Door website for more ideas. Thanks so much for watching.